Welcome back. Uh, today uh, we are going to learn some assembly programming because if you want to become successful at reverse engineering you need to be able to read the uh, code. So uh, I'm going to provide a link over in the description for a CrackMe that suits our needs for this tutorial. Uh, all it needs to do is have a message box. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to open that CrackMe in Ollie just like this and you're going to take the code at the top, you're going to highlight a bunch of it, edit, fill with NLPs, awesome. You're going to take this line right here and you're going to go edit, just like this, click, drag, edit, binary, edit. You're going to write caption and then right here you're going to put zero, zero. And then you're going to highlight this next line, edit, binary, edit, and you're going to write message and you're gonna put a zero zero at the end of that as well okay now at the top I'm gonna start showing you some stuff so in Ollie you have over here addresses and then you have opcodes in this column and these are hex representations of binary uh, commands that are sent to the processor so that the processor can, well, process them. Because processors read binary, on, off, on, off, on, on off, one, zero, 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 one, zero, you know. Over here is, y is your human representation of the same thing. 90 means NOP. NOP means no operation. No operation means just do nothing, go to the next line of code because I got nothing for you right now. Come back later. Um, over here is your registers. These are flags. This is your stack. This is for like uh, longer term variable storage. Uh, the registers can be used for short term uh, or counting, uh, stuff like that. Um, these are stack addresses. Here's your stack pointer. It points to the current top of the stack. EIP points to the current instruction stands for instruction pointer. The current instruction is right here, right there. Black bar, number, black bar, number. Awesome. Um, this is the data that's stored at that address. This is the hex dump of it, and these are comments. Over here we have more comments. Ollie is awesome about giving you very helpful comments. This right here is a bar that gives you information. Information is always helpful. This is the dump. These are addresses, these are what's at it in hex, these are what's at it in ASCII. As you can see, we typed in a caption and a message, and blam. If you can't tell what we're doing already, we are going to uh, make a message box. And uh, But first, I'm going to teach you about push and pop. Uh, push, E-A-X. Push, E-C-X. Pop E A X. Pop E C X. If you notice, I did push E A X, push E C X, pop E A X, pop E C X. I did them in the same order as I put them on. But if you notice right now, what's in each of them? When I run this, if you watch the top of the stack, we put what is in E A X, top of the stack. Now we're going to put what's in E C X, the top of the stack. Now we're going to take the top of the stack and put it into EAX. Now we're going to take the top of the stack and put it into ECX. They flip-flopped. That's because you put it on one way, you take it off the exact opposite. It's a Think of it like a stack of dishes and you're washing them. You take, you pile them in the sink and then you take the one off the top and you clean it. You take the next one off the top and you clean it. So we uh, successfully flipped them and if you notice they're not here anymore but if we scroll up they are here so let's go ahead and set these to NLPs again and set the origin back at the top now uh, we are going to do a push zero we are now going to move EAX this address here 403 one, two, three. We're now going to push EAX. We're going to push this address here, 403, 
three zero one zero. We're going to push zero, and now we need to call the message box. We know it takes four parameters: one, two, three, four. And let's search for names. Scroll down, message box, find references. We got one. Double click it. Double click. Copy the code so we don't have to like make an import and everything. And now let's double click and paste right in there. And there we go. Now if we do a control A, Ollie is gonna see exactly what we were up to and be like, Oh, okay, you wanna do a message box. You want uh the owner of the handle to be null, meaning the main window, and the text to be message, and the caption to be caption, and the type to be default. Zero OK button. Awesome. So when we run that, we push a zero onto the stack. We push we push our caption onto the stack. We push our message onto the stack. We push our owner onto the stack. And then we call message box and we get this awesome message. Now, let's say I want a message again, but without doing all the pushes again. Well, all the information's still there. Let's double click. We need to go up to this zero, it's minus ten, alright. Let's just go sub ESP ten and call message box again. Well you know, there it is. Alright, so uh you you know that a push pushes something onto the stack, a pop takes the top of the stack and puts it wherever you told it to. Uh a call calls a function and that function is going to use however many parameters it's supposed to off of the stack in reverse order that you put them on there. Uh, I didn't tell you what MOV or SUB does, and that is your homework. You're going to figure that out. I'm going to put a little quiz over in the description over there. Please feel free to uh, personal message or send a message, whatever it's called, uh, to me with your answers. Uh, I'd advise you not to comment on them just because it'd be kind of like ruining it for everyone. You can, but in that case, everybody check out the quiz before you look at the answers. Um, and yeah, we're going to move from here. Uh, we're going to do loops, we're going to do jumps, uh, we're going to do calls, functions. So you can understand exactly how it kind of works so that you can learn to see it backwards. And all you have to do is remember that it's one line at a time. That's all it can ever be, is one line at a time. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.